Yeah. Tony has a question for I you. I have a question yeah. for I had heard somewhere before, and I don't remember uh, where I'd heard it, but it, they said that everybody's addicted to something, and it's just that some addictions are less uh, damaging than others. Is that true? Uh, well, uh, to some extent, I would say, yeah. I mean, we're all addicted to something. You all could use an AA, a 12-step program um, for something. Everybody has habits and, you know, uh, behavior patterns that we follow compulsively to some degree. I think everybody has a little of that, and some people have way too much of that. Yeah. And we're in the studio right now with T Anthony John Dennison, star of The Closer, and Dr. Alan Jason Coe. Alan Jason Coe. I was going to say AJ Coe because that's what on, it says on his Facebook page. Oh, you're AJ? Oh, because I used to be AJ uh, too. I go by Jason though. Yeah. Uh -huh. But, you know, I use, uh, unfortunately, I named a child Jason. Uh -huh. so, but he's Jason <laughs> Allen. And. Uh -huh. uh, it just got so complicated. It's great, when, though. Whenever there's a suit, it goes to the wrong person. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and, and no relation to David Allen Co. No relation. It's like, I would love to handle this lawsuit, but you actually <laughs> named my son. So. <laughs> well, he's actually an attorney. Right, makes so it easier. I'll just pass it off, yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So did that answer your question? Yes, it did, because, uh, you know, it's like people. I've had conversations with people. I mean, you know, oh. about my about my addictions and and well, go ahead. Addiction is a compulsive disorder. I, I think everybody pretty much understands that. But and, but by addiction though, I mean I know people who I believe are addicted to working out. Okay. You know, and they go to the gym and they like they're like crazy about how they've got to get there. They've got to do their two yeah, hour thing. Exactly. You know, and so I've said well. I may be addicted to alcohol and drugs, I said, but, you know, you're addicted to this working out stuff to the point where it's interfering with your life. Oh, no, how can that be? Look at my body. And, you know, and, it, and it really does. It's to the point where it's, I think, a, a distraction. Or I, I had a patient who was working out four times a day. I mean, it was very compulsive. Mm -hmm. Well, now we have orthorexia where people are addicted What's to eating the, health food uh, to the oh, point so where... No, where yeah. the, it's, it's where the... Orth or Tony, or Tony, or Tony might need to join that. Need to, uh, what are you talking about? I eat yeah. fish. <laughs> fish <laughs> and dairy. It's, 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 it's called orthorexia. If you saw Tony, if you saw Tony's house, and not you know, Tony has probably the healthiest of organic foods. Yeah. What about all right. the chocolate? Yeah. Right. That you did you raid every But it's but it's by. all uh, it's healthy so healthy chocolate. Healthy but chocolate. here's the thing: how many addictions are caused because of money? Because you can't food. What you're talking about, orthorexia. Uh -huh. You can't be a poor orthorexic. Yeah, you can. Sure really, you can. sure you can. Well, you can be very poor. Orthorexia. You can't really <laughs> you can, goji whatever. Well, orthorexia oh. really is people that they have oh. almost an irrational anxiety that their food is poisoned or bad for them, or that they have to eat something oh. to be healthy. Now, now let me let's let's try and refine the definition here. Okay. Uh, uh, of addiction, you know, it's compulsive behavior that becomes self-defeating or self-destructive right. and there's physically okay. addictive and behavior well there's there's physical addiction ad addiction there's, that's part of the definition right. with certain substances uh, but yeah there are definitely a lot of compulsive behaviors that I think are addictions that you know there's a there's a lot of talk now about process addictions right you know gambling, so gambling. sex um, uh, you name it, working out, uh, shopping, yeah. shopping, big one, orthorexia, yeah. orthorexia was an eating disorder. Yes. But you see, I usually share, and I don't know if I'm, I mean, it seems to resonate with a lot of people when I'm at meetings and I'm the speaker and I share this, I say, I, I don't think I'm addicted to alcohol and drugs. I think I'm addicted to fear. And I used alcohol and drugs to treat that fear. Hmm. And then once they stopped working, then, you know, I had to, through the AA program, sure. to find some sort of like a spiritual, you know, re re recipe. T typically, people are self-medicating with substances. Right. Yeah. Because of fear, right? I mean, yeah. isn't that, I mean, I say, right, I'm saying anxiety. Is, 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 anxiety. Yeah. Which is uh, an unknown fear. What about I sensitivity? Felt, I mean, because I feel the, anx yeah. the anxiety, I feel the anxiety still to this day. Yeah. But I find that, you know, through prayer and meditation or through some writing, or going to a meeting, mm -hmm. or being of service to people, that somehow that, that anxiety, you know, tends to abate. And you know, I can do it more quickly than I used to do it when I first got sober. Uh, but the anxiety was always there. And when I was high all the time in college, 
and you know and then drinking the anxiety you know i would deal with when i sobered up but then quickly i would seek out more drugs so i wouldn't have to deal with it. tony's actually got one of the funniest stories ever what's the opposite of anxiety serenity Uh, serenity faith oh via faith yeah yeah okay trust Trust. yeah Yeah, it's going to be okay yeah it's fear versus faith Yeah. yeah right but also mood disorders is another as part right. that people self-medicate depression they they ch- generally get addicted or mania right they, yeah or mania. what they get addicted mania. to stimulants right people who are depressed cocaine meth right. and we see a lot of that with uh schizophrenia yeah people yeah. Just tend to like stimulants crack, this is a point cocaine. of reference doc i'm sorry yeah it's okay the point of reference if you're if you were let's say on a uh, psych med okay yeah. Uh, whatever it is, doesn't matter if it's as long as it was something that you needed a prescription for. And let's say you go off those meds, your own choice, or whatever. And then later on, you're feeling that those feelings again, where you need to go on it, and you don't have a new pres- new prescription for it, but you know somebody else who is taking it. If you take, if you take their pills, you know, without going to a physician to like sort of update your 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 mental state. In a sense, that's going out, isn't it? What do you mean by going out? Yeah. But well, not by relapsing. S- relapsing. I'm sorry. Relapsing. Well, it's when it's against the law. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Yeah, well, okay. well, I never. As a point of reference. As a point of reference. Let's just put that out there. I love. It. I, I, I love that this story like just sounds like. You know, like it's a hypothetical, but you right, know right, it right. might be referring well, to Tony's got Tony's got a pocket yeah. jingling with tabs yeah. in it. That's like, like my ah. friend. No, no, I have. A, I know a few people that, that right. that's happened, and I. Well, people tend to pass around it's medication. It's pretty common. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so in a sense, it's a relapse because I can't imagine. You know, like it's it, you're, you're, this, isn't it your psychology or whatever eventually you know changes, and maybe maybe you need more milligrams or less milligrams, or you need something else. That what you're doing basically is looking to find something that might in fact get you high and not really make you feel uh, faith, f- filled with faith, so to speak. Well, that's a complex question. Yeah, I, mean, I, f- I figured what, as much, that's why. Whether it's a relapse or not, you know, it's it's obviously, you know, it's but something it well, we shouldn't. We, have the, we, have, of we do have to go to the break. <laughs> we do have to take a break. We're in the studio with Tony Dennison and Dr. Jason Allen Coe. Alan, Alan, Jason, Alan Coe. Jason Coe. That's his son. Sorry, I didn't <laughs> mean to get you confused. Let's call him Dr. Coe or Dr. Coe. And, and the number here is 877-8830-830. It's 877-8830-830. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Clean radio. Clean radio. But that is the definition of self help The shaking through his Cadillac. He went cruising down the village. 